Tonight we're making Norwegian chocolate fudge, which requires wet ingredients of milk or oat milk, vanilla, and we're gonna call butter a wet ingredient for this. Then we need salt, 100% cocoa, flour, sugar. If you learn this recipe and you've got dessert covered, if you're the guest, going forward forever. You bring it to parties, you bring it to your in-laws, doesn't matter where you go. This is legit. One and a half tablespoons of flour. Half a cup cocoa powder. Three quarters of a cup of sugar. And if you're not a Norwegian, you'd have done this in your mixing bowl. Get your ingredients mixed together real nicely. One cup of milk. Two tablespoons of butter. Mm, let's do a little more. Eh, a little more. Tinctured vanilla by Ashley Strand. Just request it. Half a teaspoon of this. Some salt. Just a pinch. All right, let's turn that down to medium heat. We're gonna put our wet ingredients with the butter and the salt. Let's take a couple minutes, but we're gonna wait for it to get to a boil. And then we're gonna add our dry ingredients a little bit at a time. Now that we've got our wet ingredients uh, to a boil, we're gonna turn the heat up to high heat. We're gonna add just a smidgen at a time. Otherwise you're gonna get that, that lump, that uncut, that undone part. People say, oh, this fudge has got these weird lumps in it that aren't done right. You are going to stir this continuously for six minutes. And just adjust if you're using like a gas or you don't know how much heat you're getting just go by how much it's boiling if it's like bubbling over you're going too too hot so just turn it down a little bit but you keep stirring in order to not make anything stick to the bottom of your pan you want this to cook evenly throughout and it's going to reach such a thick consistency that if you're not moving it it's going to start burning all right, after six minutes, it's gotten pretty thick. What we're gonna do is we're gonna take about half of it. Put it into your container. Now, keep the heat high. We're gonna go for another three to four minutes or until it's as thick as we desire. This is super thick. I went about six more minutes. I took it as far as I could without 
it it's burning on the bottom of my pan. Now we can just let this cool down. It heats off. I give it like five, 10 minutes, or you can just add it right away. But what you're going to do is you're gonna take your thick Norwegian fudge and add it to your thinner Norwegian fudge. The spatula, that's yours. That's yours for that 10 to 15 minutes of continuous forearm exercise. One of the best ways to transport this is one of those double walled mugs. You just get them from so many places. Put the cover on top and you're going to have, you know, a full eight to 12 hours of hot fudge at the ready. And then you can dish, dish it out to, it's probably, probably six to eight helpings. So after everybody gets their helpings, then you just put your ice cream and your banana and whatever else you're going to do right inside this mug. And then you've got an insulated cold fudge sundae made with Strand Farm Norwegian fudge sauce. Okay, so the hard part's done. Just kidding. It gets harder from here. Once it starts to boil, why I say bowl? Because of the Ashley, Virginia accent. I say boil in Minnesota. Boil, boil, and bag. Not bowl, oil, and bag. Can't say it how she says it. Anyway, 